Hey y'all, so I have completely been failing you. Um, today is Wednesday, August, who knows, 12th, because my birthday was last week. Yeah, the 12th. And I have been going through a full day of professional development. I am currently playing with a fake classroom to figure out all of the features that I have access to via our platform Teams. I know a lot of teachers, what is that? Oh, this is my lip. Okay. Um, a lot of teachers have um, used Google Classroom for a lot of different districts. Yeah, that is not my testimony. My district has, has this connected to Microsoft. And while I have had Google Classrooms and I can appreciate the value of Google Classrooms and the various connections to all of the educational sites, I have to work with the hand that I've been dealt. Anyway, so, I have my big cup of coffee that is on. okay i was interrupted by a phone call and now oof, i just bent my nail backwards it hurts anyway i am i just went back to look at the meeting information and we are done for today so i'm super excited about that um i've taken my survey i need to review the notes and information for tomorrow just so that i can be able to field some questions and know what's happening even during the sessions that are not mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and print that information out and I'll look over that a little bit later. But for now, I think I'm going to work on some of our African-American studies content because I've pretty much gone through everything they need me to do for setting up our fake classroom. So that's done. Oh, I need to send out my um, grade level agenda meeting and um calendar alert so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that just so they can start previewing and thinking of any questions that they might potentially have and do the pre-work um and then that's gonna be all for today hopefully today is gonna be an early day for me not hopefully it will be because i want to do some reading i have um a virtual conference not a conference but a virtual book club meeting on Saturday for this book. What is it called? Something by, um, I hate saying, um, this is major by Shayla Lawson. Hey, hey y'all. Welcome. Welcome. It is Amber. It is Sunday, August 16th. My camera is super dirty. Hold one second. All right, much better, much better. And I got you set up on the tripod now. So today is Sunday, August 16th, and I am currently working on my African-American studies PowerPoint. <sighs> this takes longer than lesson planning, if I'm being perfectly honest. I mean, it is lesson planning in a sense, but this takes longer than planning for my English lessons. Uh, but this is because a lot of this information is new to me. Um, so I'm having to look up more things. I'm having to get a better understanding. I'm having to also break down this adult language to language that students from 6th to 12th grade are able to understand and uh, more specifically my 6th graders because as of 12th grade like <laughs> we should know some of these big words I'm just saying um, so anyway so I have us learning about Elizabeth Key Grimstead um, Mumbet Elizabeth Freeman. I guess Elizabeth was a very common name back then. We also have John Kaser. Kasser. I'm definitely going to look up the pronunciation before it's time for me to actually present this information. And then we're also going to talk about the Dred Scott case. We are going to talk about um, the banning of slave trades and how that still didn't lead to the abolishment of slavery for an additional 60 years little less than 60 about 50 something 50 and some change years or whatever the case may be and um how convict leasing was instituted and how that led to um the Dred Scott case the Plessy versus Ferguson case how the 13th amendment still allows for legal slavery as long as they are criminal and Jim Crow laws and all of the things and how slavery is still legal in the United States in 2020, 401 years later. So anyway, 
I am kind of fired up, as you can see. I have been working on this for at least an hour now and I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm almost done. So I just need to add a few more things in here. I'm making sure that I make it a point to, um, if I don't get to everything on the first day, that is fine because I have dedicated two days to talk about slavery. Uh, but there's more opportunity later on in the year that we're actually going to address the topic of slavery. So if I don't finish it all, in this first lesson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all on one PowerPoint so that I am able to, like if we don't get to a certain point by when I think we should be there, it'll all still be in the same PowerPoint and I can just pick up where I left off if that makes any sense. So the only thing that I would have to do, that I would have to do, excuse me, is re-add my norms or whatever the case may be so that we can just go from there. So I'm feeling pretty excited about it. Um, some of this information is really a lot to process and it's really, it's a lot to process. And I mean that in the most positive and negative way possible. I also need to go ahead and prepare for this week. I need to start making the agenda template for our grade level meeting this week. The first two meetings have went super well and I'm so proud of you know, being able to facilitate those meetings. I've also hosted my first content day being a course facilitator where I was able to provide information to eighth grade English teachers across the district. I almost got into it with one in the first morning, but all is well, all is well. We're professionals, so we're not gonna do that. Um, at least I'm not gonna do that. I can't speak for the other lady, but as for me in my house, we are professionals and we will conduct ourselves accordingly. I have been overwhelmed at times, but for the most part, I'm in really good spirits. I'm actually really excited for everything that is happening. And, you know, I really could find several things to complain about. And, and it's not that there's just like absolutely nothing to ever complain about. Shout out to Harriet Tubman since we're talking about slavery. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. She's up here. Um, Every great dream begins with a dreamer. And we know her for being one of the most famous abolitionists. And we also know her for the Underground Railroad, having freed thousands of enslaved African Americans and probably would have freed more, but we're not gonna get into that today or at least right now, just simply because I need to get back to work. I need to clear off my bed and clear off my coffee table. I added a new little stand behind me. Oh, y'all can't see it, hold on. I added a new little stand. This was in my classroom and it's a gold drawer system. I got it from Target. I don't think they sell it anymore, but if they do, I would definitely look it up and look for it. Um, I'm about to relight my candle. This candle I got from Walmart, it smells phenomenal. Oh, it smells great. And uh, let me peel this tag off because we, we don't do that. But there's also a company called Posh Candles that I'm about to order some candles from. I just got these because they were cheap and I needed some more candles because my Bath and Body Works candles were, are on their last leg. And, um, you know, I just want to be able to create an atmosphere of calmness and serenity, especially during the day while I'm working and I am more prone to be like, ugh. So, like I say, overall, I'm in great spirits. For the most part, I'm feeling pretty good about everything that's happening. I could stress myself out about the world and coronavirus and all of that other stuff, but I'm not because I know who my faith is in and it's not in the people of this world. So, and um, so that is the new little setup. I also changed out this side of my bulletin board and I brought my drawer system a lot closer. So I have my picture of me from my 26th birthday a couple of weeks ago here and I added my well, they fail, but my Prince Naveen and Tiana figurines, as well as my little Minnie Mouse classroom. I also added my calendar to my actual wall because it falls when it's sitting on top of here. And I just want, I mean, you can't really see it really, unless I move closer, but I know it's there and I can look and see what's what and what's happening. I still have my princesses that are surrounding me. I still have my books. Those books are only going to be there through the first week of school and then they're coming down and I'm going to be adding more um, content specific and relevant information behind me. And plus for the most part, no one can really see this when I'm sitting here, which is typically where I'm sitting. So, because I want people to be able to see our influential person of the week. And 
So this is going to be changing and, and moving frequently. The only consistent are going to be that there's going to be an influential person here and there's going to be my calendar here. Everything else is fair game to be moved. Also right above it, I am going to be adding a Lion King poster up here. And so I am excited about that. For the most part, they will see it just because my computer camera, it zooms in a lot more. <laughs> so they see a lot more of my wall, I guess I can say. And so they're seeing all of this for the most part. So I want them to be able to have the screen field. I also have this portrait that my one of my students from last year drew for me. And I may or may not get her younger brother this year. I guess we shall see. I'm adding to my sibling collection. I think so far I have taught, what, three sets of siblings? I think, I can't remember for sure, but I think it's three sets of siblings that I have taught so far. And so I'm looking to see um, for my first class, one of my students has a younger sister that's now about to be in eighth grade from my, also for my first class, I have another one who has a little sister that's about to come to eighth grade as well as a cousin that's about to come to eighth grade. So maybe I will have them. I hope so, because I'm already familiar with her parents. So that's great. <laughs> and then I have this student who, um, and I'm gonna cover up her name, this student who drew this portrait for me. She has a younger brother. And again, I've built a great relationship with her, um, her dad and her stepmom as well. So I hope to get him just simply because I have already established that relationship with the parents. And he's one of the ones that I have known since he was in sixth grade. So, um, yeah, I think there are three sets. I can't remember, but we shall see whether I get them or not. It's fine. We're going to make do with what we have and we're going to go from there. So I am 12 minutes in and I still have not moved on to what I need to do. And I feel like I'm hollering at the same time. So I do apologize about that. Let me go ahead and get back to work. August 21st so we start school on Monday <laughs> it's a lot currently I am setting up my classroom and sending out last minute emails getting my things and thoughts together so that I can finish all of my to-do list and then go from there so just wanted to check in say hey get back to work Hey y'all, welcome, welcome. I stopped recording yesterday just because I had tunnel vision and I needed to get my work done. Um, but today is Saturday and I'm on my way to Starbucks. I got two gift cards <laughs> um, because I had kind of cooled off from Starbucks after the Black Lives Matter thing. I, granted, they came back and, and fixed it and cleaned it up a little bit, but yeah, I still wasn't interested in spending my personal money. <laughs> But since I have gift cards, I guess I can warm up to them and see, you know, how they've changed and fixed their ways and learned from their errors. You know, my mom brought up a good point. Like, you can't cancel everything. I mean, you can, but you got to give companies and people opportunities to redeem themselves. You know, we need to be able to exercise, a, you know, a state of grace. So I have been cool off of them so i'm gonna exercise my grace this morning <laughs> and come get me a couple of drinks one for now one for later i got myself a ice white um a white chocolate mocha and um and then a um what is it called the strawberry acai lemonade with a splash of green tea <sighs> natural boost and i'm gonna have to slow down on the chewing because I can tell my face is getting fuller <laughs> I mean I, I can tell the difference but granted it's my face <laughs> so I know 
Um, but anyway, so I am getting some more work done today. I want to start going through some of my books in the garage and get rid of books that I am not going to to keep or use. Like I'm getting rid of the Twilight series. Um, for one, my students were never interested in it anyway. So I'm getting rid of books and series that nobody is interested in that takes up a lot of shelf space because going forward, I am not um, I am not <laughs> spending days and days and weeks bringing stuff to the school. You know, I think I learned that when we had to clean out our school in May, you know, you never know what might happen during the year. And they only gave us two hours to clean out our classroom. Now, mind you, my mom and I work at the same school. So <laughs> it wasn't like we could, you know, pick and choose different times. To, to come to one another school to help out and we couldn't get anybody to help us it was just a mess so I learned from that that I am not if I can't get my stuff in one setting in which we still did but that was way too much stuff and I am not going to keep holding on to stuff I'm looking at houses and I don't want to bring a whole bunch of stuff with me um, I'm going to start investing in some bookshelves I like the uh, Ikea Billy bookshelves they're they're what I want as for now. Now, when I get older and if I want something fancier, then I'll get something fancier. But as of now, that's all I need. And I want that for me. So I'm going to start going through my books and figuring out what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to get rid of. Um, like, I think I have multiple sets of the Hunger Games series. I'm going to get rid of at least. I'll keep one set and get rid of the rest. Because, again, my students are just not reading it. Same with the Divergent series. Keep one, get rid of the rest. They're not, oh my lord, they done built a new plaza. Oh wow. This is what happens when you get out and explore. And this is also what happens when you don't do it very often. You see new things. Wow. Slow down, sis. She's clearly in a rush to get somewhere. Right, I have made it to Starbucks. Let me get my mask back on. Oh, this is curbside. Nope, we're not doing curbside. Okay, so let me park back here. Not a problem. Not a problem. I got to get a fan for in here and in my car. <laughs> it's too much. But I think this is the first time I've driven my mama's car. First or second. Maybe the second. But I can't remember. Can't be too sure. Anyway, so I am about to head home. And while I'm in the mood to go through some books, I'm going to start going through some of my books in the garage. Maybe about two bins. See what I'll get rid of. Um... I'm kind of in a dilemma, though, because those books were sitting in my classroom. And at this point, they've kind of been sitting in a garage. And hopefully at this point, whatever germs may have been on the books. And it's not like my students just touch my books a lot. <laughs> it was more for a lot of decoration. I mean, granted, they did check out quite a few books. But most of the books that a lot of my students were into are upstairs in my room. So those are not books that I'm getting rid of. But... I just don't know how people are feeling about taking book donations because I've been seeing like a lot of different places. People are throwing away books. And as a book lover, like that is, oh my gosh, like don't post it if you're going to do it. Like just do it and, and just, oh my God. So um, I don't want to throw books away, but. I guess it's kind of out of my hands if I donate the books and, and whoever I donated to decides to throw them away. So it'll be above me at that point.
Hey y'all, I forgot to check in earlier. So I'm checking in now. You just saw me. I um, planned in both of my planners. I am not happy with how my passion planner came out and I'm gonna probably redo it, but I'm getting kind of tired of this for today so I can show you what I have done for this upcoming week. This is what I got. My Monday through Thursday, Friday through Sunday, books that I'm gonna be reading. So I'm pretty excited about this. I think it turned out pretty cute. Passion planner, not so much. Don't change my movie either, okay? All right. Yeah, I'm gonna tickle if you do. Okay, take care of the babies. All right. <laughs> She's in the tub, excuse us. No, my passion planner. No, baby. This way. So, I'm not really happy with how this turned out, but. This side is cute, minus this highlighter that I did here. But this side, screaming for help. <laughs> Ew. So, as of now, it's gonna say it is what it is, but I have been rusty with scrapbooking and memory planning and planning officially in the planner. I just set up my digital calendar for school. <sighs> it's a lot to do. I've been doing professional development all morning and um so that is that but my back has been hurting and i am about to get in my bed for a little bit and just enjoy some me time some peace and quiet get a little reading done i started reading relationship goals last night so i'm gonna read some of that today while i let my youtube play in the background um and then the plan for the rest of the day is to finish setting up my classroom. I need to record a welcome video. So I will be returning back to my desk later, probably this evening. And I need to record my welcome video. I'll do my actual like me talking piece tomorrow, but I need to screen record my computer and I will use my MacBook, which will be the simplest thing for me to do. But my students are not gonna be working on Macs. At least I don't think they are. And if they are, then we can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation later about if they need to figure out how to work it. But it's essentially the same, ish, ish. Um, so anyway, I guess maybe I can include like some little side notes just in case some students do have max. I think that would do that. So we don't have to have no one-on-one -on -one conversation later. Just take these tips and it, it is what it is. So um, I need to, flesh out a plan for what my welcome video is going to consist of. I think I want to explain about how students can access ebooks or library books because they have student accounts through um, our library system or their library system because I live in a suburb outside of Houston. So I have both access. So I have Houston access and then I have my city access. So anyway, I wanna walk them through that. I also wanna walk them through our team. We're using Microsoft Teams for our distance learning or remote learning. And um, so I wanna walk them through the different elements of the, the classroom. We have three different channels for our classroom. Um, one channel is the general channel, which is essentially where they're gonna get all of their work. They are going to find all of their notes. They are going to see most of the announcements that I have will be on the general channel then we also have a collaboration tab which is not going to be frequently used um hopefully after the first couple of weeks once we start getting more comfortable and familiar with the platform we will use it consistently um ideally daily but it's probably asking for a bit much um but students do need that that collaboration piece and that collaboration time so the end goal is for them to be able to use that collaboration tab daily and so that's basically where they're going to get into breakout groups um, that is where they're going to work together for projects or whatever the case may be. I'll set that tab up for them to work there as well as like if I'm asking the students um, engagement questions or a post check, um, I have it set up to where I can post to all three of my classes and they will be able to see the other students' responses even if they're outside of that class. So I will use the collaboration tab essentially for everybody to stay connected, all of my students. And then we have our lesson tab, which is where I'm going to be posting the lesson videos, posting um, anything that the students need to know. Like if you are absent, this is what you you know, need to go and make up or 
Um, I'll even be posting a week at a glance. So I need to post that this morning, uh, this weekend. I need to write that down to my to-do list. <laughs> yeah, my to-do list is like forever long. I need to, so I need to post a week at a glance. Lance. Okay. So yeah, so basically for the lesson tab, I'll be posting what we're gonna be doing for that week. Um, some daily lesson announcements or whatever the case may be. And go from there. So students have a little bit of experience because um, if they were in HISD or our district last semester, then they use Microsoft Teams. So I'm hoping that about 90% of my students are at least somewhat familiar with Teams, but um, the other teachers and myself, we're still acting as if students are totally unaware of what Teams is. We are going to just be very thorough in our explanations of how to access uh, different things and what we are expecting from them, especially for the first week. Um, I know we are doing um, culture days or non-traditional days for the first couple of days, just to get students familiar with the platform and then my team English I I guess I should say <laughs> I am going to be starting the content on Thursday and it's just really simple it's not like heavy heavy we're not going to actually start reading a text until Monday next Monday so it's going to be a pretty standard simple week for the students hopefully within the first few days they start getting familiar with how to work teams or reacquainting themselves with teams some of the students were still reading over the summer so they're familiar with how to navigate different channels and different things so i need to just flesh out what my plan is going to be and create my lesson plans there's i mean it's, it's no like real lessons happening here but anyway so I am going to clean off my desk, I am going to clean off my bed, and I am going to get me some time in my bed because my back is killing me. I'm gonna put my heating press on my back and my niece has her toys all over my closet. So that's her toy space, that is her toy area. So I am just going to leave her toys alone. She said that she would come back later and she's going to continue to play with them. So I am just going to take her at her word. Ooh, I can check a couple of things off. I got a couple of things on here. I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing for my welcome for the students. I think I want them to do some kind of escape room, but I just have to figure out how to make that work with Teams because I can buy escape rooms <laughs> for Google Slides, but I don't know if I'm able to, because I have a couple of escape rooms. I don't know if I'm able to kind of like just switch it to a, what is it called? Excuse me, switch it to a Microsoft form um, because if it's done through Google Forms, then I can just remaneuver it and then kind of just tailor it to my specifications. I'm gonna just look and see what they have for the escape room. But I think that's what I wanna do for my fun activity. And it hopefully shouldn't take too long to set it up. And um, I need to sign up for Flocabulary. I'm gonna sign up for Nearpod. I want to play around a little bit with Nutella and get more familiar with that and figure out how I can connect that to my class because that is definitely going to be something that we're going to be using frequently. <clears throat> and then I need to complete my exemplars. It's a lot to do. <laughs> I'm not going to read the whole list, y'all, because y'all will be bored. And at this point, who knows what y'all are thinking. I'm nine minutes into this already. So let me get to it. Get you set up a little bit away clean up what I can and move on from there. So let me put y'all down. Let's keep going. back at my desk I gave myself a sufficient amount of off work time and I am I don't know what's happening here but anyway I am um, 
about to finish setting up my digital classrooms. So I kind of got you set up so you can see my screens. I'm also watching, what is her name? Miss Mills in middle school set up her classroom. I'm living vicariously through other teachers who are setting up their classrooms. Um, even when we go back in person, I will not have a dedicated classroom because teachers are going to be moving around. So I just have no enthusiasm to buy anything decor or class related this year. No supplies. The most I've been getting is books. And that's just for my personal library because I don't even know how I feel about, well, I won't be bringing in any physical books this year. <clears throat> so if students do check out a book, they have to check them out from the library. Anyway, not gonna do too much talking. Just wanna set, set you up, give you some additional context as to what's happening, sorry. And um, get back to work, so. Let me do that.